Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. This is Living in Alberta and today we are going to look at South Red Deer, Alberta. We're going to take a full vlog tour. Hey, what's happening? My name is Kyle. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. On this channel, we break down everything on what it's like to live in Alberta. So if you do want to see more videos like this one, hit the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you're notified every single week when a new video comes out. And if you would like any help with real estate needs, I am a licensed realtor in the province. You can use this information popping up, get a hold of me any way you want. We'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Let's talk about South Red Deer. Now, if you're looking at a map, it's kind of funny in Red Deer. People don't really talk about the West east it's more of north red deer and south red deer so anything on the south side of the river even though it may look like it might be on the north side and then the east side people just consider it south red deer it's kind of a weird thing so you probably saw a map animation by now of what i'm talking about we are going to exclude downtown for this conversation because i feel it's a little bit different and i do have another video on my youtube channel called a full vlog tour of red deer's downtown or something like that anyway cam you better watch it okay okay dude but let's get right into it the south end is a very desirable area of the city to live in this is the way the city has been growing for a very very long time now it's where some of the or is where is the best shopping is located but let's kind of start on the southwest corner of the city now the two prominent neighborhoods over here are west park and west lake now both of these neighborhoods are really good west lake is the newer version of west park so to speak West Park is an older neighborhood. Now, if you're an investor or you're looking to rent because you're going to the college, both of these neighborhoods are really good, but West Park is a very popular neighborhood for people who are renting or looking for an investment property because there is such a high renter population because of the college. There's also a really good school called West Park Middle School. I had some clients who I helped come over here from Hong Kong and they would only look in neighborhoods that the catchment area went to that school. So it must be awesome to go there. Now, if we look at Westlake, this is a newer neighborhood. It is all single family detached homes. It just has a great feel to it. Very clean, very quiet. One of the potential cons that is close to the highway, but both of these areas in the southwestern part of Red Deer, they do almost border the river. So you do have Heritage Ranch right in the Westlake neighborhood, which is one of the best parks and walking trails within the city. People love going there. There's also a great restaurant there. You can take the walking trails all the way down to the river. And a little bit of a sneaky thing about living in this Southwest section is that just through the trails, there is Cronquist Industrial Park. Now this is a cool little area to visit. It's right through the walking trails. Like I said, it's not a far walk at all. They have places like Dose. It's a coffee shop just on the river. Pure Earth Organics, the Troubled Monk is down there. There is a bunch of different stores all within there. So it is a really cool little place to be able to visit and walk to if you're living in the Southwest section. And of course, one of the main highlights of this Southwest section is that Red Deer College is right there. So again, lots of people look to live in this area because the college is so close and you do have access to the GW Harris Recreation Center, which was built in 2019 for the Canada Winter Games. An amazing rec center, amazing indoor running tracks, gyms, all that kind of stuff. So super popular rec center. Now, if we move a little farther west over to Gates Avenue, Gates Avenue is the main north-south route within Red Deer. It kind of divides almost east and west, not quite, but this is where you're gonna find all along Gates Avenue, there is restaurants, bars, all different types of retail and shopping. On the south end of Gates Avenue is South Point Common in Bower Mall, and this is some of the best shopping in Red Deer. Now we have two malls in Red Deer. Parkland Mall is on the north end. If I'm being honest, it's kind of dying. What the hell is this place? This isn't exactly the mall, is it? Bower Mall is definitely the better mall. And then again, you have South Point Common, which has a whole ton of uh, great shopping. So Home Depot, Walmart, Best Buy, Sport Check, tons of things in there. Lowe's is over there as well. So if you want to be close to that kind of stuff, you might want to consider living in a neighborhood that's somewhat close by. And I also want to kind of touch on Gasoline Alley. So this is why I kind of recommend, you know, living in, if you don't want to live right within the city, but you want to be super close, Gasoline Alley has things like Costco and Staples and Galaxy Cinemas and a whole ton of other shopping. 
So there's really great shopping there and it's actually not located within Red Deer, it's actually in Red Deer County. So if you're looking at Penhold or Springbrook or Innisfail, you're literally, well Innisfail is going to be farther, but from Penhold you're like a 5-10 to 10 minute drive to get to Costco and all of that really good shopping. And even if you're living in Sylvan Lake or Black Falls, you don't have to go into Red Deer. You just take a straight shot down Highway 2, exit right off, and you're pretty much at Costco and all those other stores. All right, let's keep moving a little bit farther west in South Red Deer. Now, if you're looking for older neighborhoods, I'm gonna show you the section on the map, kind of where all the older neighborhoods are located. So from Sunnybrook all the way up to Clearview Meadows, this is all going to be the older section of Red Deer. So there's a lot of good older neighborhoods in here. Grant View, Mount View, Sunnybrook is one of the premium older neighborhoods, so to speak. You're gonna pay a little bit more of a premium real estate. It's one of my favorites. Also Morris Row, it's kind of a sneaky uh, hidden gem there. I'm a real big fan of Morris Row. But you're gonna find homes ranging anywhere from, uh, you could go quite old, but usually from 1940 all the way up to 1990. So if you are looking for an older home within South Red Deer, this middle section would be a good place to start. What's also great about living in some of the older neighborhoods like Sunnybrook, Grandview, Mount View, is that if you really like beautiful walking trails and you wanna have easy access to that kind of thing, they do border Piper Creek. So these are really beautiful walking trails that run all the way from 19th Street all the way through downtown down to the river. So super easy access. And I'll just shut up and show you some footage of exactly what I'm talking about here. We got some drone footage and I was on my bike riding down the trail. So have a look guys, I hope you enjoy. If we kind of move away from this older middle section of the city and we kind of go very, very south to the southern border, right along 19th Street, everything that runs along 19th Street is going to be newer neighborhoods. So Southbrook, Inglewood, and then we get into the very southeast corner where you have Vanier and Laredo. These are all very great neighborhoods to live in. Very, very family friendly. I spent a lot of time in the southeast section. I own a home in Lancaster as well as Vanier East and I just found them super family friendly. Lots of parks, lots of families out doing stuff like walking, walking their dogs, out playing, lots of kids for my kids to play with. So I really enjoyed my time there. There is also right on the very south end, just south of Southbrook, the Oxbow's Off Leash Dog Park. So I know it's not quite as nice as Three Mile Bend, but it is an amazing dog park. You can, it's off leash, so just let your dog run wild. They're not gonna run away. And I also spent a lot of time there with my dogs. Now, Anders is also a very great neighborhood. It's kind of a diverse neighborhood as far as the age of homes. There's an older section, so if you're into that older home and you wanna fix something up or you just like the bigger trees and the bigger lots, you have that option there. And there's newer homes as well. Now, one of the kind of nice things about living in the southeast section of Red Deer is you do have direct access to the Collicut Center. It's one of the OG Collicut Centers within the city has everything you need, field houses, ice rinks, gyms, running tracks, really, really popular place, and it is sandwiched right in between two high schools. So if you do have children in that age group, this might be a very popular place for you to wanna to live in. Now, as we move north from this southeast section, uh, we move up through Lancaster, and then we get into Deer Park and Rosedale. These are a little bit older neighborhoods, very, very popular as well, really nice neighborhoods to live in. They are kinda of built in that 80s and 90s era, so some really nice layouts there. Lots of three, four, five level splits. Again, one thing to pay attention to in that time frame is that there was a lot of poly B plumbing that was used. So if you are looking at homes in that time, expect that it's going to have poly B and that you might want to be getting that changed out if you do purchase that home. And finally, I kind of want to touch on what looks to be more like a northeast section, but we still kind of consider it South Red Deer or we do consider it South Red Deer. That is the Timberstone and Clearview Ridge and Evergreen and Garden Heights neighborhoods. So these are all newer neighborhoods. There's going to find lots of new construction actually going on in Evergreen right now. It's kind of an interesting neighborhood because it's more or less like a kilometer detached from everything else so it really is secluded and on its own but that whole section is just full of amenities 
So anything that you can think of is in Clearview Market from banks to restaurants to pubs to go to. Timberstone also has a ton of amenities in it and both neighborhoods have elementary schools. What's also nice about living in these areas, is if you just go down 67th towards the river, you have access to some of the best walking trails and parks within the city. Gates Lakes Bird Sanctuary is a very popular place for, for people to get their fitness in and their walks, as well as Carrywood Nature Center and to take the kids there. And then if you wanna follow the river, you can head up to Three Mile Bend. So this is also a really good desirable area of the city to live in. Now, one con of living there is that for some reason, the cell service can be shitty there. I have this buddy, Hursty, he lives in that area. And every time I call him, it's like talking to someone in a fishbowl and his phone cuts out all the time and it drives me crazy. Are you there alone? Oh, uh, we have a damn internet. So South Red Deer, very desirable area to live in. Lots of different options when it comes to different types of neighborhoods from older to newer to Lots of walking trails to not a lot of walking trails, depending on what you're looking for. Southwest has access to a lot of things like Heritage Ranch, quick access to the highway, RDC. So lots of options in South Red Deer. So this is just a general overview of the city on the south end. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and definitely click that notification bell so you're notified every week when a new video comes out. And if you would like any help with the real estate needs, get a hold of me any way you want. We'd love to hear from you. Cheers.